guys, Sector here! Today we're going to show you how to sketch and analyze linear graph using CAS calculator. Let's sketch and analyze a linear graph on TI and Spire CAS calculator. We're going to sketch y equals 2x plus 8 on a CAS calculator today. So if you're already on calculator page, you can click Ctrl and I to add one more page. So click graph on it and it will give you the graph page for you. On the equation space, let's write down 2x plus 8. Using red line, they'll sketch your equation for you. If you want to change the window setting, so the, so the x values and the y values, you can go on menu. If you want to change the window setting, you can go on menu for 1. So from here, you can adjust the X minimum value, X maximum value, Y minimum value, Y maximum value. So let's try change our minimum X value to negative 8 and X maximum value to 8. And let's change our Y minimum value to negative 15 and Y maximum value to 15. And click OK. And as you can see on the screen, it got spaced out. As you can on the screen, they change the x, y, minimum, maximum value for you and zoomed out. Or you can use the mouse trackpad trackpad to click on the y maximum value and you can type the number that you want to change the y, y maximum value to. Same for the y minimum value, x minimum value and x maximum value. Next, let's trace our points on the line. Click on menu. 5 and 1 and if you click on the right arrows and left arrows they'll move the points up and down for you and if you want to find the y-intercept value which occurs when x equals 0 just click number 0 enter and they'll move to the point when x equals 0 so as you can see the y-intercept will be 8 furthermore if you want to find the y-values when x equals to 4 just like you find the x, in, just like you found the y intercept, just click on number four, enter. They'll move to a point when x equals to four. So you have the coordinate on the bottom right, four sixteen. Or if you want to find the y value when x equals to negative three, simply click negative three, enter, and they'll move to a point when x, when x is negative three. Let's find x intercept now. Go to menu, six, analyze graph, and one. And the CAS calculator will let you choose the low bound. So you can choose any point that's on the left side of your x-intercept. Then click and your CAS calculator will let you choose the upper bound. And again, just click any area that's on the right side of your x-intercept. Then the CAS calculator will give you the x-intercept, negative 4, 0. Next one, let's try restrict our domain on the CAS calculator. So for example, you want to sketch y equals 2x plus 8 when x is in between 0 to 2. So click tap and click the arrow upwards and it'll go to back to your equation. Then click Ctrl equal and you'll see a straight line on the right bottom. That's called given. So after this given, you can write down any condition and the CAS calculator will apply the condition to your graph. So let's write down 0 less than or equal to, x less than or equal to, 2. Then click enter. And as you can see, the CAS calculator restricts the domain for you. And if you want to find the endpoints, again, you can use the trace function to find your endpoints. Um, if you click, if you type an x value that's outside of the range, that will give you undef, which is undefined. watching today's video, click the link below to check out our awesome website. Check out our channel for more study tips and click here to watch our last video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.